All right, it's time to get off the bowling. Let's uh, see what uh, 10.69.2.2 looks like on the way to bowling. I hope you all enjoy the new camera and audio. Hopefully it is better than previous. Uh, we got a, uh, nope. We uh, absolutely gotta stop there. I did not feel good about that. Um, trying to decide if I'm gonna call that a collision avoidance or a not confident, but I think I have to call that collision avoidance. Uh, obviously, I still am not getting good turns on the cul-de-sacs here. But I showed you that in the first drive, so no surprises there, really. Uh, ooh, oh my, oh my, look at that. It actually did it right. Okay, well, there we go. And it did stink that we have a, a Class A and a Class C to start off the drive here, but we missed one of our Class Cs. So yeah, we're going to kind of... Alright. Uh, well, well handled there. So we got to wait for this guy in front of us here. Alright. Our turn. Uh, if it pulls up real quick, uh, we have an opening here. If it wants to do its job here, yeah, come on, come on. You got plenty of opening. There we go. So I'm trying to think on this particular drive if there's any. The only real, I mean, it's not really a gotcha, but it's a tough situation where. Uh, when I make this right coming up uh, two and a half miles, one, it's going to need to get over, which it's always done well, uh, like immediately, which is good. But the other thing that I've got is if I don't have the green light, it's a weird situation where I'm going uphill, coming from my left, the traffic is coming uphill too. So you do not have a good view at all of oncoming traffic from the left and it's it's a challenging intersection to be certain not something like if it fails this intersection it's not anything that I'll be like why in the world did it fail because it is absolutely not a not a good time to be certain like human drivers have a problem seeing properly like I can see it out like if I know what I'm looking at but I don't know that the car is going to know what it's looking at to see the oncoming traffic is kind of coming like you can kind of it's weird it's very hard to describe you can kind of see a slice of traffic coming up over the hill because of a gas station that's over here and you can kind of see through to what the traffic would be coming up but I don't know if the car a can even see that or b if it does like, I could see that the AI might ignore that traffic because it can't necessarily see that that traffic is on the road. It might just think that that's general movement that doesn't matter to it. So, we'll see when we get up there if we end up having to deal with that situation or if uh, we'll just be going right on through it or not. couple of little breaks there because it wasn't too sure about that car pulling out there. Seems to be getting a little more confident though this Mercedes in front of me needs to get over, which it does. No issues. So we got a mile to my turn that I was speaking of. And again, this is uneventful mileage. Again, as you might be able to see out my mirror, out the uh, window here, absolutely marked turning lane, nothing on the visualization. I did see an arrow on the visualization the other day, oddly enough. So it's definitely still in the code, but I don't know if it's something that they've 
not been training properly, trained out inadvertently, or what's happening there, but those need to get back on there so that the system can properly know what lane it needs to be in when it comes up to those type of turns. If for some reason it's not in the GPS to tell them that. Over this hill and as we're coming down we'll it'll split into a two lane uh, each way and that's where the car again historically has had zero problems immediately getting over and then we'll contend with the right turn which looks like the light will probably be green oh well it just turned green so we may have a red light to contend with up here but currently it's green car like I said immediately getting over exactly as it should it actually signaled too so that's nice of it I think that's because it was making a lane change not making a change into a turning lane all right so here we go made a bit of a rough turn there I might have confused that infinity uh, it certainly wasn't a great turn and it was trying to slow down so I gave it accelerator to make sure I didn't confuse that infinity so I am going to charge it a class C for that as well so you have an A and two C's and I did have to disengage for that class A to make sure I didn't uh, end up in an accident so no bonus points for this drive either unfortunately uh, next up our next turn is going to be a left that is a little bit weird because the turn lane, they create a, a no travel lane in between the turn lane and the normal traffic lanes. And it's kind of weird how they do it. And you'll see that, well, hopefully, I don't know if your view catches that well or not. I mean, I'm kind of looking at the camera here to see. I don't know if, uh, if it'll pick that up well or not. But in a little over a mile, we'll have that turn. Now, hopefully, again, my complaint about route planning here, we're gonna, when we get through this light, we're gonna be less than a mile to where we need to make the turn, and we need to be in the right lane, or sorry, the left lane to do so. And I hate that it waits to the last possible second to get over. We have a clear lane. It knows it needs to make a left up here. It also should know from GPS that there is no reason this lane will close. So we should be getting over like now. I think if I have one huge remaining complaint that needs worked on first of all of my complaints, it is that, that route planning, hey, here we go, okay, that's better. So we're gonna change change lane to follow route, four tenths of a mile out, all right, that's not bad. I mean, I will take that. It saw that, again, we had no, no worries about getting over to this lane, so I'm happy with that, actually. But I don't understand why it does that here perfectly. Like, this was a, that was a good move to make. And then in other instances, like, I'm like 300 feet from the turn and it decides to make that move. All right, so here's the weirdness coming up here. And it does properly handle it. And so it looks like we're gonna get a, probably get an arrow when it is our turn to go here more than likely. So now in the past, it has kind of freaked out a little bit at this left turn whether you know to get in the far lane or the near lane and there is a turn lane in the middle of the other side there too so let's see how it does because i i received 10.69.2 before or i mean after my last time going to bowling so i have not seen this turn on the new software at all yet whether the polished and patched uh 10.69.2.2 or the 10.69.2 on its own Hopefully this is better, and I think it will be better just because, again, 
part of the problem is it handling oncoming traffic while dealing with a left turn. And in this version, at least this minor release version in 10.69, it is so much better at handling that than prior. It's not even funny. So here we go. We're going to make this turn. It's going to watch this car that's also turning onto the here. And we're going to make a very pretty left-hand turn. Nicely done. That was absolutely a coin flip prior to this new, new minor release. So we need to get over to the right again and we're 0.4 miles from that, so we should be getting over like we did the last time. There we go, okay, all right, good. And again, this right turn up here has been less than smooth in the past as well. I mean, it makes it, but it's not confident about it. It's not assertive. Um, you know, it's not like where some of the turns that I've seen it make now, where it's just a and right on through. So let's see what we got. We are going to have a green light up here. So as long as we have no oncoming traffic that might be trying to turn left in front of us, this hopefully will be a very smooth right. All right, so no traffic coming on. And yes, sir. Very good. Yeah, again, that prior to this version used to almost come to a complete, like it was down to like five miles an hour uh, when it would make that you know, turn. That was a very smooth, confident turn. Slower than I probably would have made it, but not anything that anyone else, like, watching the car, like, anyone watching the car from the outside wouldn't have been able to tell that it wasn't a human making that turn. Like, that was super smooth, super smooth. Uh, we got one turn left, and then I'll have to dis disable the system to turn into my, um, my destination. That is one thing I've noticed, too, uh, if you get to your destination and FSD ends because it doesn't handle the final steps of parking the car yet, um, <laughs> it's uh, sometimes freaks out a little bit. I had that happen earlier today. Uh, I was going to go get some lunch and there's a right turn. It, there's a traffic light you have to get through. It had to make a lane change because, again, it wasn't sitting in the correct lane. And, um, yeah, it's a... Uh, it kind of freaked out a little bit because it got to where I needed to make the right. I kind of didn't realize the system was still engaged or I can't remember what was going on there that I had not disabled it. Regardless, it kind of did its little weird steering wheel thing and I realized what was going on and disabled the system. So that'll be the next thing that maybe, maybe make a, cause I know Navigate on Autopilot used to give it uh, a pretty good warning all right so here we are we're gonna make our right it was a good right and we are at the end actually it was gonna turn in there so that's actually kind of interesting all right that is it for this one I'm gonna go ahead and shut you guys down hope you enjoyed it take care